The commissioning of the 97-kilometer-long Tema and Pakadan railway line marks the completion of nearly eight years of construction. The $447 million project was funded through an Exim Bank credit facility approved by the government of Ghana. With a fleet of two diesel multiple unit trains, the project aims to boost the transportation of goods and services while easing pressure on the country's road network. Railways Minister John Peter Ameu highlighted key features of the project, noting the inclusion of a record-breaking railway bridge over the Volta Lake, which is being recognized by the Guinness Books of Records as the world's deepest reinforced pipe bridge. The Tema Mpakadan rail line commenced in 2017-2018 by Afcon Construction Limited with an amount of 447 million funding under the Exim Bank Credit Facility, secure and approved by the government of Ghana. The scope of the project involved the design and construction of over 97 kilometers of single standard gauge line from Tema to Mpagadan, consisting of formation in cutting and embankment, culverts, bridges for drainage, ballast beds, tracks, works, grade separation, road over bridge, road under bridge, passenger stations, buildings, and many, many ancillary facilities. The magnificent rail bridge, which is the first of its kind in the sub-region, and measures about 300 meters in length, located between Senchi and Old Akrade, has been completed as part of this project. It is important to mention that as a result of the construction of the Senchi Bridge, a significant engineering achievement is being awarded from the Guinness Book of Records to give recognition to the world's deepest Reka Pile Bridge, which goes as deep as 76 meters below water level and further embedded in rock of length of greater than 10 meters. What this means is that this is the first of its kind in the world. And Mr. President, your infrastructure project for the first time is going into the Guinness Book of Record. Speaking of the commissioning, President Akufuado stated that the new railway line will help address critical challenges that have long hindered the country's development. This 100 kilometer railway line complements a visionary transport system that integrates rail, road, and inland water transport, connecting Tema Port to Buipe Port via the Volta Lake. This project, conceived under the administration of His Excellency, President John Ajekun Kufo, is a good example of continuity in governance for national development. By reducing our reliance on road transport for long distance freight and passenger movement, this railway line will address several critical challenges that have hindered Ghana's development. It will decongest significantly our roads, alleviating the heavy burden that has led to severe traffic congestion, the rapid deterioration of road infrastructure, and an alarming increase in road accidents. Furthermore, they will enhance the efficiency of port operations at Tema, minimizing vessel waiting times and container dwelling times thereby boosting the competitiveness of our ports. Some Ghanaians who enjoyed the first ride on the train also shared their excitement and expectations. In fact, uh, they have done a yeoman's job and they need uh, appreciation. It feels like in Amakra. It feels like I'm in Ghana. The Ghana the that President, president Nanadu Akufuado dreamt of. And when he came into office, promised. I'm glad I have lived long enough to have been part of it. The railway ministry and its allied agencies have reaffirmed their readiness to maintain the two DMU trains, ensuring the country reaps the full benefits of the project. We're well, following the commissioning of the $447 million Tema Mpakadan railway line. Uh, Ghanaians are looking forward to enjoying an improved uh, railway system and transport system here in the country. Reporting from the line, my name is Carlos Caloni for Joy News.